You've heard a lot about Halliburton lately. Criticism is okay. We can take it. Criticism is not failure. Our employees are doing a great job. We're feeding the soldiers. We're rebuilding Iraq. Will things go wrong? Sure they will. It's a war zone. We're serving the troops because of what we know, not who we know. Well, let me tell you about Halliburton, the company I ran. I'm very proud of uh, what I did at Halliburton. Uh, the people of uh, Halliburton are very proud of what they've accomplished. And uh, I, frankly, uh, don't feel any need to apologize for the way I've spent my time over the last five years as the CEO and chairman of a major American corporation. Good yeah, this is also an attempt to, to divert attention away from the fact they have no energy policy. And as the Secretary of Energy said, we were caught unawares. In the middle of the war, Microsoft, DHL, and other corporations invited Halliburton to a conference to figure out how much money could be made in Iraq. Having worked this uh, uh, effort even since before the, the uh, invasion, the, the uh, liberation of Iraq started, you, industry, are definitely a vital part of that effort. We appreciate your, your interest in this. We need you. Now, lots of you are small businesses and you're struggling. How do we get a piece of this big action? All of you, the big guys, are going to get it, and the rest of us who have subcontracting capability or no, none at all. USTDA is for you. Once that oil starts flowing and money coming, it's going to be lots of money. It's the second largest reserve of oil in the world. There's no question about how much money is that. I've been getting complaints from Iraqi firms and from American firms. Uh, that the lack of transparency, the corruption. I think the profits that American companies are making, that the major, the main companies, uh, are so overwhelming. I mean, uh, like when you have a line item for a million dollars and you subcontract it out for 50 or 60 or 70 thousand dollars, that's a huge profit. And it's the American taxpayer that's going to pay for that. And it's going to get better. Start building relationships because it's going to get much better as the oil flows and their budget increase and the good news is, whatever it costs, the government will pay you. War is always good for certain companies, I mean, that are in the war, the business of war. We're very proud of the work we're doing, again, in supporting the U.S. government and the U.S. military. And the real heroes of the campaign, the real heroes of the Reconstruction, are the men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces. And we're very proud to be any part of that that we can in supporting them. Halliburton delivers hot meals, supplies, clean clothing, and communications to our soldiers yeah. so they can be yeah. a little closer to home. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> Halliburton, proud to serve our troops. I just read in the paper Halliburton got another contract. Halliburton got another contract, it, it, which is not being contested at all. Because nobody knows. Well, it's in the paper, so somebody knows. But that's after it happens. It's after the fact. It's too late. The United States is now a major player in the Iraqi oil business. American troops guard the oil fields as Texas oil workers assess their potential. So it's a safe environment to work in. Uh, we don't feel any risk. We feel like we're being well protected here, or we wouldn't be here. It's no secret. I mean, I make anywhere, I don't know, between two and 3,000 a month. A Hal Burton employee out here driving a bus can make all between eight, ten thousand a month. Explain that one to me for 40 hours a week, driving the same two and a half mile route. Go figure. Where do you, where's the justification in that? There's no other single uh, area of the world today with the opportunity for for business, new business, uh, similar to the opportunity that's available today in Iraq. The president went in and did what he did, and we're all supporting him and our troops, and we want to make sure that. You know, the efforts and the lost lives, and it wasn't for no reason. If it wasn't for the oil, then nobody would be there. Yeah. And nobody would worry about it. Unfortunately, at least for the near term, we think it's going to be a, a good situation or a, a dangerous situation. Good for business, bad for the people. Today on the news, uh, Rumsfeld was saying, and Wol Wolf Wolfowitz was saying, Oh, the Iraqi people are much, much better off. Uh, isn't it better that we got rid of Saddam and now the Iraqi people can do what they want to do and really be free? Will they ever be free? No, they'll not be free. And where are the, are the weapons of mass destruction? It was a 
we were duped. We were really duped, and these poor people, the young men and women who are being killed there, it's unnecessary. That's the disgrace. I, I, I'm, that's it. That's no more. That's disgrace. They died in a just cause for defending freedom, and they will not have died in vain.